Sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Octopus. Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that Armstech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. Why would... We've got no choice. Awesome. Forget about the keys. Steal Your top priority the disc. now is to destroy leave Metal Gear itself. Sorry to have to lay right? it all in your lap. But you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. <laughs> Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. Sort of. That's all I know. It's in the genes. And you were able to kill him? Knowing that? Yep. How? <laughs> Yep. He wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's petricide. Yep. That's the drama that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? On the base. He's dead. No, it's not. Sorry. His no, he's dead. Yeah. Snake. Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Friends. Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend. Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? <laughs> That's true. We did. In Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. Mm -hmm. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. It's in the genes. Really like talking about genes, Naomi. 
Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? <laughs> Your fate? I've... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Okay. Let's just catch up with Otacon. Otacon. I'm headed your way now. Can't you just relax? I am relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get up in there, will ya? Where Nastasha? What's she got to say? Just because you are locked up does not mean there is no chance of escape. Keep your eyes and ears open, and when you see a chance, take it. Thanks, Master? Master, I... Don't say it, Snake. You still have a mission to accomplish. That's all you should be concentrating on right now. Meryl? <laughs> One guard. I need the toilet for a second. Go on. It does not look like blood's been drained. Johnny. We don't see him come in. We don't see him come in. Chief. You don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? You want some food? I I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, <laughs> I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here. Take this, too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Don't hurt her. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. 
Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Uh, oh, we got Harry I'm trying my next, best. Right? That guard's got the Think? key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. Mm. I can't take anybody out. How is you have to. I'll be killed. <gasps> oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. At least this way we'll get the chance of him dropping something when we kill him. Though I shouldn't need it. I do need a re ration refill, but... Check for a bomb. I don't remember what gets you a bomb. Is that we're okay? I do have a ration. I don't remember having a ration. Whatever. Back to floor one. Back to Sniper Wolf's area. And then past there to fight the Harriet after the Hecka scene with the. Um... The towers are going to be very hard. I don't have enough stun grenades. I might be able to pick up a couple on the way. I think they give you a couple, maybe. I hope. Chances are I'm going to probably spam them. And waste them all. Because it's a tough area, I'm hoping to get out of it with uh, a little bit of success. Where's my man? I think for today's goal, it would be good to get onto disc two. But I don't know whether I'll make it. Will be tough. Let's go. 
go. Camera's always a bit risky. Never really understand how we get away with that. Hey, panic. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. It turns and we can go. We go. Not too fast. Press it twice, it immediately arrives. I don't have to wait. Little, little trick. B1. We'll kill the guy in the toilet and then we'll pass through the commander's room. I don't know why I want to kill the guy in the toilet. I probably shouldn't, but I am gonna. <laughs> Famous bullets, that's why. The Harrier is where I got to when I tried to play this on hard before. And that was uh, a while ago. Harrier was uh, insane. Okay, handkerchief. where that went <laughs> use our night vision to get us somewhere to here nope further down there we go now i believe when we're crossing down the corridor here that there is a camera, a gun camera, on the right-hand side. But I could be wrong. It's... I don't think you can see it here. Oh, That pull the guilt trip on us again. Yeah, Meryl died. Okay. Get over it, man. She got shot three times and was still talking. Trooper. I, I, I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. War is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Sure. Are we going to have a call from the... Okay, great. Snake, about Meryl. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, it's okay. <laughs> you did what you could. <laughs> Don't have to worry uh, about it. Rest. it. It's uh, it's only she a niece. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, Meryl, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. I love how she Snake thinks she knows that. her. 
She wasn't ready for real Met combat. her for like 10 minutes. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. It's not like you, Snake. Master, what is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I just couldn't listen anymore. <laughs> Master. You're being a little snake. bitch, Snake. You can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. That road leads to madness. Believe me. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. And besides that, for all we know, Meryl's okay, right? Yeah. Mailing. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're She's right. fine. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl, she's pretty special to you, huh? Yes, she's special. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. Come this on. is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. It's all in the genes. The genes. What are you talking about, Colonel? It's the genes. <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? In New York, I think. Naomi, I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was...